Hello, and welcome back to my series of videos on the free code camp Pomodoro Clock. If you missed my last video, I suggest you go back, watch that video, and code along with it to catch up. In this video, we'll learn how to use React functional components, how to set state and read state in that functional component, how to use functions and bind those into a buttons click event handler, and how to convert seconds into minutes using moment.js. Let's get started. All right, let's open your terminal up and go to the uh, folder in which you have your Pomodoro clock project. Start the create React app development server with npm start or yarn start. This should open up a browser with your current Pomodoro clock project. Next up, open your code in your favorite text editor. You'll see that we left off with a paragraph tag that has the word break in it. What we want to do is take this paragraph tag and break it off into a separate component. To get started with that, in the source folder, open up, uh, create a new folder called components, and we'll create a new component called break.jsx. This component will be in charge of allowing the user to set a break length and rendering out how much that break length is, how long that break length is. Initialize your component. I like to use uh, React snippets. The component should be initialized as follows. Go back to your app.js. Take out that paragraph tag, paste it into the break component, like so. In app.js, import break.jsx. So import break from dot components forward slash break and inside of the div element render out your break component let's go back to the browser and you'll see that nothing has changed the only thing that changed is that inside your break component lives the paragraph with id break label that says break Let's take a look at our free code camp test suite to get an idea of what we need to do inside of our break component. So from what I see here, there's an element with an idea of break length that displays the break length and initialized to a value of five. So back in our break component, let's create a break length variable, more specifically, a break length state that users can modify later when we add buttons. The way we initialize state in React is just like this. We have uh, use state here in React and we'll initialize it here to five. However, our data will be represented in seconds. Five minutes times 60 seconds is 300 seconds. That returns a tuple. The first value of that tuple is break length, and the second value of that tuple is the setter for the first variable, so set break length. In our uh, render part of the functional component, let's add a div that wraps everything. Let's add a new paragraph tag with ID of break length, and inside that tag, let's render out break length. Go back to your browser and you'll see a 300 rendering. It's not the five we want, but we'll convert those seconds into minutes later on in the video. Back in our break length component, let's write two functions. One function will decrement the break length by a minute and the second function will increment the break length by a minute. Let's start off with the decrement function. So const decrement break length by one minute equals a function that sets the break length to the break length minus 60, just like that. However, we do not want the break length to go down below zero. So in that case, let's take this here and put that in a new variable called new break length. And if the new break length is less than zero, set break length to zero. Else, set break length to uh, the new break length. There we are, that should work for the decrement functions. Function, very similarly, let's write the increment function. So increment break length by one minute will just be set break length to break length plus 60. Now what we need to do is add two buttons 
that'll run these functions when they're clicked. So underneath here, let's write a button. One will have the uh, minus sign, and one will have the plus sign. Both buttons will have on click handlers, and uh, the minus sign button will have the decrement break length by a minute, while the plus sign button will have the increment break length by a minute in its on click attribute. Now, both of these functions need an ID as per the free code camp test suite. Uh, the minus function will have the break increment, uh, sorry, decrement, while the plus function, plus button will have the break increment. Let's go back to our browser and test these buttons out. In our browser, we see that clicking the negative button does decrement it by 60 seconds, and pressing the plus button does increment it by 60 seconds. Our buttons are working just as we planned. The last thing we need to do in our break component is display the 5 instead of the 300. To do this, we'll use a JavaScript library called MomentJS. To install MomentJS, just run npm install moment, or if you're using yarn, yarn add moment. With moment installed, scroll up in your break component and import it. Import moment from moment. Now scroll down to right before the return. Create a new variable called break length in minutes. And we'll construct a new moment duration, which is just a duration of time with a unit at the end of it. So break length in seconds is now known to moment to be seconds. And we can convert that into minutes by using the minutes function. So take this break length in minutes and render it out in the p tag. Let's go back to the browser and see if that worked. You'll see here that we have the variable 5. It goes up to 6, 7, etc. Additionally, if we run tests on the free code camp uh, test suite, well, you'll see here that we actually failed uh, that test, and that's because it's not equal to 5 at the moment. Let's uh, refresh it and then run the tests. And now you'll see that we passed the free code camp test, uh, the user story number 5, which says I can see element with corresponding ID of break length, which displays a value of 5. Well done. The last thing we need to do is create a uh, new function called session. That'll be pretty much the same thing as uh, break for now where we have a unit of time represented in seconds, we transform it into minutes, render that, and allow the user to press two buttons, plus or minus, to increment or decrement the length of the session. So I'm actually going to borrow everything from my break component and run a find and replace, kind of cheating, but uh, this is what's pretty much done in development all the time. Uh, matching the case, so wherever I see a capital break, I'm going to replace it with a capital session. And wherever I see a lowercase break, I'm going to replace it with a lowercase session. Now I'm going to take this component and inject it also into the into our app component. So let's take session. It's a uh, imported correctly. Let's go back to our browser and see that it's working correctly. So now we have session, but it is initialized at 5. As for the free code camp test suite spec, we want to initialize that at 25. Now, I'm not very good at math, but I can initialize this to 60 seconds times 25 minutes, and that'll show us our 25. Now, let's run the free code camp test suite to see if we're passing any additional tests. You'll see here that we're passing seven tests now. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We have two clickable elements, decrements. We have two clickable elements that increment. We have one element with a break length that displays five on load. And we have another element with a session length that displays 25 on load. To quickly review, we added two new components, a break component and a session component. Both components are very similar to each other in the sense that they hold a piece of data, number of seconds of the break or the session. They have two buttons that allow you to decrement or increment, 
and they display their uh, data, their data stored in seconds, but they display it in minutes. So as you see here in the browser, we can add more minutes to our break or to our session. I really hope you enjoyed this video and you gained something from it. If you did, please support me. Please click the like button. Please click the subscribe button. Subscribe to me on Twitter, on Dev.2, on Instagram, etc., etc. Click the notification bell. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Peace.